Description Level 4000, The Ocean. It can be accessed by no clipping through a moist spot in Level 0. There are two parts of this level, Thalassophobia and Near Shore. Part I, Thalassophobia A rare video clip taken in Thalassophobia. The water seems oddly calm. A picture of Thalassophobia's waters. Undocumented entities death whale narrowly missing a member of the ocean explorers when they weren't paying attention. The member survived and has no injuries. The first part of level 4000 provokes a deep sense of thalassophobia and thus has a strong sanity draining effect. This is 90% of the time the area of the level that you start out in. This part of the level has these features, unfathomably deep and dark water, gray skies where the sun is never visible, constantly choppy water. Death whales are believed to be the only entities that inhabit this section but no one has been lower than 25 miles below the surface to see anything else. Death whales look like humpback whales from the front rooms but are anything but peaceful creatures. To give you an idea of how much there are, there seems to be one for every two miles of ocean. Death whales can detect you by swimming under you at any depth. Once they detect you they will swim straight upwards like they are going to breach but instead attempt to swallow you. Some death whales are faster than others so you really need to be fast if you want to dodge them. It is also dangerous if you do dodge them because they launch high up in the air after swimming upwards and can land on you when they come down which would kill a human instantly. These creatures can be below you at any time and you wouldn't know which is why you have to be careful. They also randomly stick their mouths out of the water sometimes which indicates that they breath air through their mouths. There have been 56 deaths because of death whales yet. These guys are usually solo and it is very rare for more than four to be in the same area. Part 2, Near Shore High. Entity counts some rock formations from near shore if you make it here, you are in a much better, safer place. This section is called Near Shore because it shows signs of being near a shoreline but a shoreline is never visible no matter how far you travel. Two members of the MEG made it 26 miles before turning back. It has black rocky formations, and a large amount of sea life, like fish, making this level perfect for storks to live in. It also has some other birds that look like seagulls with two pink bands around their beak, as well as a large lizard creature species that are also undocumented. Most of the entities here are non-hostile and peaceful. The sky here is brighter but still gray and your thalassophobia is gone. Many types of wildlife live here, both native and not. Here is a short list of some of them birds, bat gulls, as stated before they are the most common bird here and look very similar to seagulls but with two pink stripes on their beak and a more curved end to their beak. Mackerels, no, not like the fish, they were named after mackerel fish of the font rooms because the founder said it could fit a mackerel in that beak and the name stuck. Storks some rich. Look like seagulls but are brown and sometimes speckled. Males have blue beaks and females have black beaks. Baskin, a large, hawk-like bird with a huge wingspan. It is also brown like many other birds here and has seen feeding on rupiers, moss, and ripping barnacles off of death whales when they come up for air. Rupier, very small, brown, and white-bellied bird that flies very fast and is rare to see. Lizards, bat guana, very similar to a rock iguana, long claws peeper, a very small, very fast, scaled reptile that appears to like the bat guanas but is easily scared and very cautious unnamed undocumented reptile, said to look like a komodo dragon but 1.5 x 2 x larger and the head is shaped differently, very hostile and that is why there is hardly any information on it. Other, unnamed. Undocumented mammal, the Ocean Explorers group said that Ounce, a small group of their members were a little ways off from the main group when they saw an odd-looking rock formation that kinda looked like a rock island and there was a cave on it. They were being called back to the group when they say they saw what looked like a jackal come out of the cave but they didn't get a good look at it. Because they were being pulled back. Mers Lacamelloha only photo taken of Lacamelloha diving back into the depths of level 4000. Creature is presumed to be non-hostile. Photo taken on a rowboat at least 152 miles away from the shore. Lacamelloha is a mysterious creature named by the Noak Noak. It is a nightmare fuel massive stony humanoid. Estimates say it is about 100 feet tall. It is faceless and does not interact with humans a lot. It's only been confirmed to have killed two people by grabbing them and attempting to take them underwater where they drowned. Every four hours, a mist will start forming, and a lighthouse can be seen shining, but it's impossible to find it. After five hours of mist, the mist will fade and the lighthouse will disappear. Secret part, 
silver waters devoid of entities. No images exist although seen only two times, this section is hard to enter and is yet to be confirmed. The waters are metallic and weirdly textured. It has been tested and the chemical composition is very similar to that of liquid silver. Silver dolphins may also live here. Colonies and Outposts Ocean Explorers the only official group known to be stationed here. They welcome newcomers and help them get to the exit. They enjoy living on the water and always say they are happy where they are. They live on a giant inflatable raft and travels between sections. They love swimming. The Noknok a tribe of about 50 island tribal people on an island in near shore. Recently discovered. Not much is known about them but they have a stable economy and a hunter-gatherer society. They are somewhat hostile to people. Although the Meg frequently explores this level, they currently have set up no outposts. Conclusion What we do know is that a man named has entered the place and found out about the entities. The entities he found are creatures called the swimmers, they are non-hostile and are like normal ocean animals. There is no day and night cycle in this level. The water is pure fresh water. It has the mysterious property of being able to clean salt out of anything. A nice dip would make a nice wash. Unlike some other levels you cannot breath under the water. The swimmers are edible and let you keep your sanity more than any sort of almond water. Someone even cured a stage 4 insanity, his name was John. The water in this level is safe for consumption. Also, there's been sightings of a creature recently. Nobody knows what it is but there's been sightings of it. The three people who saw it were way below the recommended safety depth in thalassophobia and reported a massive monster. They quickly lost sanity and are now gone. Sometimes wrapped present boxes will float to the surface from below with the bow wrapped around the present and falling off the bottom. Looking like a string is attached to the bottom making the present look like a balloon floating up to you in the sky. Level 4000 is actually one of the oldest level. It was discovered shortly after level 9 but was kept pretty quiet until a few years later. The level did not have a name until a lot later. It got the label level 4000 because it is not a secret level but it does not fit into the other numbers so they put it beyond the fabled last level. Level 3999 entrances and exits entrances, the only reliable entrance, no clip through a moist spot in the carpet in level 0 jump into the water in level minus 17, unreliable, think of an ocean in deep meditation in level 11, unreliable, jump into level G plus S abyss, unreliable, enter from the debug room, unreliable, you can enter by falling asleep on the benches on level minus 4532 but you have a 45 percent chance to teleport here no other exits have been found in almost two years and it is assumed that they are the only entrance exits drown to be transported to level death find a specific circle of rock formations and wait inside to be teleported to the hub extremely rare occasions you can see a shore to the far with an infinite city seen far if you get close enough you are now in level 1976 you can find multiple island levels and levels that connect to a body of water within this level. Get a boat and go to the secret part of this level. Row the boat and step on the plain grass to enter level 460. Note that if you go to this level again after going to level 460, the entrance to the secret part will 